Welcome to Southeast Queensland UFO Watch. In today's news update, we will be talking about what's happening in Aero, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Aero is the place that whistleblowers can safely go to give evidence about their knowledge of UFOs, reverse engineering programs, etc. But is Aero truly a safe place? Can Aero be trusted to be transparent? Let's dive into this a bit deeper. Sean Kirkpatrick, director of Aero, accused of lying about contacting David Grush. In a recent meeting of the Aero Association, Sean Kirkpatrick stated that he had tried to contact David Grush multiple times in an attempt to reach a resolution to their ongoing dispute. However, Grush has denied these claims, stating that Kirkpatrick has never contacted him. Kirkpatrick and Grush have been at odds for several months now. After Kirkpatrick made a number of allegations against Grush, including that he had engaged in unethical behavior, Grush has denied all of these allegations and has accused Kirkpatrick of slander and defamation. In the Arrow meeting, Kirkpatrick said that he had reached out to Grush on multiple occasions, both via email and phone, but that he had not received a response. He also said that he had tried to contact Grush through mutual friends, but that they had been unsuccessful as well. However, Grush has denied that Kirkpatrick has ever contacted him. He said that he has checked his email and phone records, and that there is no evidence of any contact from Kirkpatrick. He also said that he has spoken to his friends, and that none of them have been contacted by Kirkpatrick either. Grush has accused Kirkpatrick of lying about trying to contact him. He said that Kirkpatrick is only making these claims in an attempt to discredit him, and to avoid facing the consequences of his own actions. Arrow is currently investigating the matter. It is unclear what action, if any, Arrow will take. This is a developing story, and we will provide more updates as they become available. The allegations against Kirkpatrick are a reminder that Arrow is a new and unproven office. It is important for Arrow to be transparent and accountable to the public in order to build trust and credibility. Arrow should thoroughly investigate the allegations against Kirkpatrick and take appropriate disciplinary action if necessary. Arrow should also take steps to ensure that its investigation into UAPs is conducted without interference. Sean Kirkpatrick the director of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Aero, which is responsible for investigating reports of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, also holds a senior role at the Department of Energy, DOE. Kirkpatrick is a staff member in the DOE's Office of Intelligence and Counterintelligence. In this role, he is responsible for developing and implementing policies and procedures to protect the DOE's classified information. Kirkpatrick's dual role at the DOE and Arrow raises a number of questions about potential conflicts of interest. For example, it is unclear how Kirkpatrick will be able to maintain his objectivity in investigating UAP reports if he is also responsible for protecting the DOE's classified information. It is also unclear how Kirkpatrick will be able to balance the demands of his two jobs. The DOE is a large and complex agency with a wide range of responsibilities while Arrow is a new and understaffed office. Some critics have also raised concerns that Kirkpatrick's dual role could undermine public trust in Arrow. Arrow is tasked with conducting a rigorous and transparent investigation into UAPs, but some people may be concerned that Kirkpatrick's ties to the DOE could influence the investigation. The DOE and Arrow have not commented on the potential conflicts of interest raised by Kirkpatrick's dual role. However, it is important to note that Kirkpatrick has a long and distinguished career in government service. He has held senior positions at both the DOE and the Department of Defense. Kirkpatrick has also been praised for his work in the field of UAP research. In 2022, he was appointed to the DOE's Anomaly Subcommittee, a group of experts that is tasked with investigating and analyzing reports of UFOs and other unexplained phenomena. It is too early to say whether Kirkpatrick's dual role will have any negative consequences for the Arrow's investigation into UAPs. However, it is important to be aware of the potential conflicts of interest and to hold Arrow accountable for conducting a rigorous and transparent investigation. Sean Kirkpatrick, the director of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, Arrow, which is responsible for investigating reports of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs, is also the registered agent of a limited liability company called Nonlinear Solutions, LLC. Nonlinear Solutions is a consulting firm that provides services to government and industry clients on a variety of topics, including national security, aerospace, and technology. It is unclear what role Nonlinear Solutions plays in Kirkpatrick's work at Aero. 
However, the fact that Kirkpatrick is the registered agent of the company suggests that he may have a financial interest in the company. This raises a number of potential conflicts of interest concerns. For example, it is possible that Kirkpatrick could use his position at Arrow to steer government contracts to nonlinear solutions. It is also possible that Kirkpatrick could use his position at Arrow to gain access to classified information that could benefit nonlinear solutions. The DOE and Arrow have not commented on the potential conflicts of interest raised by Kirkpatrick's relationship with nonlinear solutions. However, it is important to note that Kirkpatrick is required to disclose any financial interests that he may have in companies that do business with the government. The American people and the world deserve to know that Arrow is conducting a rigorous and transparent investigation into UAPs. The potential conflicts of interest raised by Kirkpatrick's relationship with nonlinear solutions could undermine public trust in Arrow. The DOE and Arrow should take steps to mitigate the potential conflicts of interest raised by Kirkpatrick's relationship with nonlinear solutions. For example, the DOE could require Kirkpatrick to divest himself of any ownership interest in the company. The DOE could also appoint an ethics officer to oversee Kirkpatrick's activities and to ensure that he is not using his position at Arrow to benefit his personal financial interests. Something doesn't feel right about Sean Kirkpatrick and Arrow. There seems to be a major conflict of interest and a complete lack of transparency. The Arrow office has access to some of the world's most advanced technology, and Kirkpatrick claims there is no good UFO evidence, photo or video. Their satellites can't capture UFO images, yet photos and videos are captured daily by regular citizens. I don't trust Arrow to do the right thing here. Congress needs to sort this out. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you want to help us find UFOs, UAPs, please watch our 24 7 live stream of the sky here in Southeast Queensland. Please also help to support the channel by liking and subscribing. Thank you.